As you can see, there are a lot of elements to consider. With experimenting, learning from your mistakes, trial and error, you can do it. Here is a checklist. You need an idea of what you want to model. Sometimes an opportunity presents itself to trigger an idea and your imagination. Then you need to take action to model the idea and scene. You need the right kind of camera and equipment. Learn how to write your story. Then contact the editor of the publication. Also, you need to go to a convention to enter your work. And you can also contact the achievement chairman to arrange judging of two or three models. This can be done at home in order to get a merit award. Some divisions have an AP chairman. If not, all regions have an achievement chairman. Before you finish, review these items. Did you use your imagination? Was there a wow factor? Was the picture in focus? Did the story flow? Was it interesting? Was the model and scene realistic? Include more details in the five sections of the entry form. Add more scratch-built items for points. Learn from your mistakes and the judge's comments and observe what others have done. Let me show you what I mean. We're all familiar with coal. But are you familiar with a process called column coal? I was visiting my original hometown of uh, Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. In a local newspaper was a story about a new industry using these fragments of coal, which is called column coal. After breaking the coal into sizes, there are remnants or tiny pieces of very fine coal. Today, they can now be used for filter material for industrial air filters and water filters. Also, they can be used in industrial injection furnaces that some power plants have. So I ventured to where this column coal was processed. And I took some pictures. and I wrote a story. This particular company packages this product. After some investigation and research, I built a model and wrote an article. If your drawings are not good quality, the magazine will do them. Also, the magazine may add a picture from someone else. It is a good idea to include a bill of materials so that modelers know what is needed. The next year I was back in Pennsylvania and on TV news was a derailment that blocked off a road. The next day I took my camera to see what was going on. A contract company is pulling the diesel and the hopper cars and putting them back on the track. The hopper cars are filled with column coal. I have this railroad diesel but I 
needed to purchase a Caterpillar tractor with a side crane and counterweight, which was made by Overland. I painted it, decaled it, and set the scene and wrote an article about re-railing a derailment. And my first full cover. Next came a picture in Walter's catalog. And then the award in 2010. The prototype slide category is no longer available. This is the picture. From this opportunity, I took pictures, wrote two articles with covers, published a picture, and got an award. Here is an example of creative writing. Rather than a standard title and introduction about a brewery, after I interviewed the quality assurance manager, I decided to do something different. Note the title. And then I pretended to do a telephone call and do a question and answer approach. And I took various pictures. Their silos are underground. They brew several different types of beers and drinks. Note the suspended tank. This is where the farmers come to pick up the used mash that is fed to their animals. And this is the model. and the bill of materials. This is an article about a specialized flat car. I entered it in a contest with the details And after the judges using their scoring matrix, the results were 62 points and no award. And this is the model. So not all entries are winners, but some are published. 
and peace be with you.